Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be talking about illustrations of quadratic equation. Sorry, it's DJ. Our most essential learning competency illustrates quadratic equations. What is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. In the equation, ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is the constant. Why do you think a must not be equal to 0 in the equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0? It is because when a is equal to 0, our quadratic term will also become 0. And our equation is no longer a quadratic equation but a linear equation. Let us have example number 1. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. As we can see, the given quadratic equation is already in its standard form with a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to negative 3. Let us now go to example number 2. 3x times x minus 2 is equal to 10. What can you observe about the given equation? Yes, it is a quadratic equation. However, it is not written in standard form. To write the equation in standard form, expand the product and make one side of the equation 0. Let us now expand 3x times x minus 2 is equal to 10. By using the distributive property, 3x times x is equal to 3x squared. 3x times negative 2 is equal to negative 6x. So we have... 3x squared minus 6x is equal to 10. In order for us to make the right side equals to 0, we have to add to both sides of the equation the additive inverse of 10, which is negative 10. So we have 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 is equal to 10 minus 10. And we got 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 is equal to 0. So our equation now is in its standard form where a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to negative 10. For our third and last example, 2x plus 5 times x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. The equation is also a quadratic equation but is not written in standard form. Just like example 2, it can be written in standard form by expanding the product and making the one side of the equation 0. Let us now expand 2x plus 5 times x minus 1 is equal to negative 6 by using the FOIL method. 2x times x is equal to 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is equal to negative 2x. Positive 5 times x is equal to 5x and 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 5. So we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 is equal to negative 6. In order for us to make the right side equivalent to 0, we have to add the additive inverse of negative 6, which is positive 6 to both sides of the equation. So we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 plus 6 is equal to negative 6 plus 6. The equation becomes 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is in standard form, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 1. Please take note, when b is equal to 0 in the equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, it results to a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus c is equal to 0. Examples, equations such as x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, negative 2x squared plus 7 is equal to 0, and 16x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 
are quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus c is equal to 0. In each equation, the value of b is equal to 0. For your activity, here are the directions. Write each quadratic equation in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Identify the values of a, b, and c, then answer the questions that follow. Number 1. 5x minus 10x squared is equal to 12. Number 2. 2x squared minus 5 is equal to 7x. Number 3. x plus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Number 4. 3x times x minus 9 is equal to 0. Number 5. 5x minus 1 times 5x minus 1 is equal to 20x squared. Number 6. x plus 4 times 2x minus 1 is equal to 5. Number 7. 2 times 3x plus 7 is equal to 4x squared. Number 8. x minus 3 quantity squared plus 7 is equal to 0. Number 9. Negative 3x times x plus 5 is equal to 8. Number 10. 2x plus 3 quantity squared is equal to x plus 3 quantity squared. How did you write each quadratic equation in standard form? Which quadratic equations did you find difficult to write in standard form? Why? You may now start answering your activity. Sorry, it's DJ. 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 Yeah. 